Hey y'all, so in this video, I'm going to be showing y'all how to add a watermark on your videos using iMovie. The first app you want to use will be Canva because we need to actually create the watermark that is going to go on top of our videos. So in Canva, you're going to search up the YouTube thumbnail and then you're going to click on custom. And then what you're going to do, you're going to change the background color from white to green. And I'm sorry, y'all, I am a little stuffy, so I may sound weird, but I'm trying my best to get this video out here for y'all. Um, the next thing you're going to do, you're going to find the transparent logo that you have saved on your phone. I do have a video about how to um, make your logo transparent, so make sure you check out that video if you don't know how to do that yet. But pretty much, you're going to resize your logo and drag it down. I don't know why Canva was giving me a hard time with dragging down my logo. <laughs> Does this ever happen to y'all? But anyway, so I'm just going to go ahead and drag it down, position it where I would like it to be, which is usually at the bottom in the center. Now, the same way you add your logo is the same way you can add social media handles, which I am about to show you guys now. So to add a social media handle or icons, you're just going to search it under graphics. You're going to put in Instagram or you will type in Facebook. You're going to click on the icon that you would like and you will be able to drag it down at the bottom. And then, of course, you'll have to add in a text field and you'll be able to put in your ad name or whatever. But I'm not making social media handles today. So I'm just going to go ahead and save the graphic. Um, The next one you want to do, the next thing you want to do, you want to change it to where it has a blue background and save it and a white background and save it because it does make a slight difference when it's time to add in this information to iMovie. All right, so you're going to open up iMovie, you're going to create a new project, and you're going to select the video you would like to add a watermark over. And then you pretty much want to go all the way to the very beginning of the video. You're going to click the plus button, and you're going to add a photo. So the first photo you want to add is the one with the green background. When you tap on the photo, it's going to give you the option to choose the three dots. And then from the pop-up at the bottom, you're going to choose the green screen option. So then it's going to add that right on top of your video. And voila, you have the green screen option. Now, the tricky part is sometimes with the green screen, um, sometimes the actual logo, it doesn't show up as clear. So that's why I also suggest that you do a blue background and a white background. And pretty much when you have the blue background, you're just going to click on the blue part and that's going to take the blue away. So really you have to see which, which background color gives you the best look allows you to see your transparent logo more clearly um uh, but because sometimes if you have too many colors going on in your video it can kind of mess up how clear your watermark is so so yeah you want to play around with it a lot i did find that it didn't make much of a difference when i used blue green or the white background so i think i just went ahead and stuck with the white background and just called it a day once you choose which photo you want to use make sure you drag the photo all the way down so you're going to click on i used the one with the white background so you're going to click on the white background photo and then it's going to be yellow that's highlighted on the ends of the photo you're going to click on the yellow part and drag it all the way to the end of the video that way the watermark is on the entire video and this is pretty much the same process that you would do if you were to add your um social media handles at the bottom if you want to add your social media handles at the bottom of your videos uh, while you're in canva you're just going to click the social media icons you're going to Add in a text to make sure you're able to type in your handles. And then you're just going to save that photo, upload it the same way I just did this video. It's pretty much the same exact steps. Um, and once you're done, you save it. I always save mine at 1080p. Um, I don't do 4K because it takes too long to save. And then now all you have to do is just add that video to your Instagram account or whatever account that you're trying to add the video to. And you're pretty much done. 
So if y'all got if y'all thought this video was very helpful, give this video a thumbs up. If you want to see more videos like this, leave a video suggestion in the comment box below. Thank y'all so much for watching and don't forget to subscribe and I'll see y'all next time.